All right, good morning. Prepping up the tranny here. So I bought this, just the standard GM style you know, hydraulic throw out bearing, but there's a little issue with it. So it came with this big giant bleeder that stuck out like this. So that it almost went out the hole here so that you could bleed it, okay? And this is what the end of it looked like. You can see it had a very long, long nipple at the end after the thread. So, you know, I wanted to remote the hose so that I could uh, put the bleeder up on the firewall. Now, this is the fitting that I was able to buy, which is a, a M10 thread, standard M10, I think it's 1.5 pitch, um, to an AN3, okay? But the problem was, you can see that the length of those were significantly different. So this would not tighten up against the seat was my problem. So, pays to have friends. I took this over to my buddy's house and we just threw it on his bridge port, chucked it up and knocked about 150 thou off from this face. Just lowered that down a little bit. I stuffed a uh, piece of rag in there and packed it right into the bottom. And then we milled it off, blew it all out good, and then took it and uh, now my, my fitting works. So pretty pleased about that. There's, there's no cobbing this up. This was something I thought, well, maybe I was just gonna take this and drill and put an eighth inch NPT in it. Nah, not good. But this works great. So now I can lock this in. I'll put some uh, thread locker on it so it doesn't have any ideas of backing off. Then I'm ready to start assembling this, you know, get this tranny put together and then eventually hang it on the motor over there. So that's what I'm going to work on now. Okay, there it is. All right, so these are two M6 bolts. Um, I used M6 by 16. Uh, I would recommend like an M6 by 20 or 18 minimum. I just didn't feel like I had a whole lot of thread in there. There's enough. I Loctited it. It should be fine. I did put some orange Loctite on this thread, being careful not to get it down in the, the orifice, obviously, but got that. This one is just a pinned... There's an O-ring seal on this guy, and uh, you just have to pull the one off that comes with it and put your uh, your clutch kit unit on there. Um, so yeah, that's ready to go. All right, that's all set. I got the, uh, the bleeder hose and the feed hose that goes to the master cylinder all installed so I can slip this in there and make it work. So, Thanks, Todd, my uh, machinist buddy there. Clean that right up. Now I got the perfect setup. Everything is n never going to fail. Uh, another point here, uh, pays to have friends. So these transmissions have these two windows, one here and one here. And I don't know what they're really for. I guess they're just inspection windows or whatever, but they, uh, I don't know, they just seem like catch-alls to me. So I looked around the, the interwebs looking for a, you know, like a little kit to block those out or just little blocker plates or something. There's nothing. So I modeled up this little piece and had my buddy print it out. Another friend, uh, Doug, had this printed out on his 3D printer. Took me two tries. The first one I had to had to grind up a little bit to get it to fit. So I made some modifications and I was still off just a whisker right there, but I'm just gonna throw a little bit of black silicone in there so it doesn't gather water. Um, but, you know, the idea is these just slip right in here. One-handed, it's fun. Um, and just block that hole. Then when I bolt the, the intermediate, when I bolt the bell housing onto it, that just holds it flush. I might put a little bit of silicone around the black, black silicone around the edges, but that's fine. 
this one down here I just made a very simple plug that I'm gonna slip up in here like so and um, I'm gonna silicone that but I might drop a couple of rivets on the back side here just to to hold it up but I'm gonna figure that out here in a minute so yeah if anybody's interested in these pieces I'd be happy to share the files so just ping me I will email you the uh, the STL files which most 3d printers can handle then you can uh, have them printed with your friends or if you happen to have a 3d printer great but uh, you know it's not perfect but it's very very close so I would take that as a win put a little bit of silicone around that and that won't leak um, this one unfortunately will not come out unless you pull the bell housing off it is I, I just couldn't find a way to do that um, I'm assuming you could probably modify this to make it removable it does have one bolt that goes into the bell housing here um, you can put that in or not it's up to you I'm just gonna put a button head screw in there just to just to sum it all up and you know fill that hole so yeah that's basically where I'm at with that okay there it is all made it up ready to go uh, I had my buddy Dennis help me put this line this thing up he happened to be here to go fishing today so he happened to wander up here and we line that baby up put it in so one thing you want to be careful of fellas the uh, these are aluminum blocks you don't want to draw the tranny in over the dowel pins using the bolts they even send you this neat little document right here that is intended to scare the hell out of you and it's got the pictures in it to prove it of the ears and the broken right off to the cylinders these are like the pictures on the cigarettes in England where they show you the black lung and what you're doing to yourself this, <laughs> they had this taped right to the top of the motor so yeah take that advice I did have to throw a couple bolts in there just to line it up but we just kept wiggling it and bringing it in and just you know finger tightening the bolts as we went and then eventually we got up on the dowel pins and everything went pretty good so yeah that's it that package is complete um, I do have a couple of other little shields that go on the bottoms here one of them is for around the starter dust shields and the other ones fill a hole on the other side of the on the bell housing but really can't put those in until I'm closer to to put the motor in but yeah she's ready to go all my hoses are ready the only thing I, I do still have to replace this steam vent line because it's the wrong size but other than that she's com we got completed so yeah throw a starter on it and I'm ready to go I didn't put the starter in yet because I think it was going to interfere with my stand here but it doesn't matter that go right in quick <coughs> I have red tagged it there's no oil in the tranny there's no oil in the motor so I'm trying to be super careful because you know getting a big tear and forget things right and also I wanted to verify that the dipstick level was right when I put the proper amount of oil in it um, but yeah that's basically it she is a complete unit at this point I'm gonna cover this thing up and roll it out of the way somewhere and get back to it when the uh, after the frame shows up this is ready to set in oh I did buy this cool little I don't know if you can get a good look at that but it's an adjustable um, rear transmission mount from Summit uh, it's kind of neat I think that will uh, you know saves a little bit of anxiety so you know everything's gonna line up just right it's bolts up cool everything's good so yeah, just got a little cleanup to do on my steam vent hoses, and this thing is a complete unit, ready to go in. Can't wait to hear this run. But anyway, that's, that's going to wrap it up for today. Again, this was just kind of some final fitment on the tranny, and that's about it. <laughs> ¶¶